God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Who 
cast no slur on his neighbor, who holds the godless in disdain, but honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his flesh on one thing, who takes no interest on love, and accepts no right to his innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. God chose us in His Son to be His adopted children. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God shows us in the world of the end to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure, that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In the name of the his blood, we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven, so measurably generous in God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are per persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As you probably know, these are called the eight Beatitudes. The eight ways to happiness. In other translations of the Bible, Instead of the word blessed, they use the word happy. For example, happy are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. They say that 
Two of the greatest desires of every human being are to survive, to live. Another is to be happy. Surely everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants things going their way. And we know that's not the way it works. Sad to say. And in this list of eight Beatitudes, we say, well, something's missing. It doesn't say, if we're rich, we're going to be happy. It doesn't say, if we're strong and powerful, we, of course, will be happy. We could go down a long, long list of things that we think are going to give us happiness. But we know that happiness is so often misinterpreted and people are seeking pleasure rather than those things that are going to make them blessed or happy. A long, long time ago, a Jesuit priest by the name of Father John Powell wrote a book, Why Am I Afraid to Tell You Who I Am? People want others to have a good opinion of themselves. And so we know people like to be well dressed. They like to look fit. They want to give a good impression to others. They want others to like them very much. But that doesn't always happen. Because when you meet people, they would like to know, are you an honest person? Can I trust you? Can you really, we really be friends? Or are you going to use me? Or abuse me? Or are you going to betray me? Well, that's not a friend. If we have negative feelings about someone whom we met for the first time. But there are people who do put on good appearance. They do make a good impression. And sad to say, we learn that they're to be avoided at all costs. They're going to hurt us. Nobody likes to be hurt. But it happens often, too often. Even people who say they love us hurt us. They say words that strike deep into our hearts and it's hard to forgive. Well, you're here tonight to thank God. The Lord Jesus is happy to see you. After all, you're only here because God deemed that you should be born into this life. Some people complain that God plays favorites. And so that's why we have rich people, famous people, celebrities, people who are highly intelligent, People who seem to have everything in this life. But the question is, are they happy? They are truly blessed because the Lord does love each and every one of His creation. And we are His children. Some people reject the Lord. They don't want to be friends with the Lord. Maybe they don't even believe that the Lord exists. 
Or maybe they believe that God doesn't care one iota about them. And they will complain when things go wrong. They'll make a fist, look to heaven, and say, it's all your fault. You have, could have prevented this terrible thing from happening. And we know that many terrible things happen in this world. There are human dis natural disasters, human tragedies, accidents of all kinds, diseases of all kinds. People say, I wish I was never born. And they mean it. Many people don't want to live. They don't value life. They don't respect life. And yet before you, you see the God of creation, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember the Gospel that said, when Jesus asked his apostles, who do people say that I am? And the answer is, some say you're John the Baptist. Others say you're Elias, or one of the prophets. And Jesus said, but who do you say I am? And Peter answered, you are Jesus, the Son of the living God. And the question could be asked of each and every one of us, who do we say Jesus is? If people who are baptized Christians truly, truly believed that Jesus is present here and now on this altar, they should flock to this church. They should tell him that they love him. They should tell him, thank you for all the blessings we have received. Maybe we're not among the richest of people, but we have love in our hearts. We care and share with others. And Lord Jesus, we're sorry for the many times we offended you. We said the wrong thing, we did the wrong thing. We hurt others, we offended you, we hurt ourselves. And we have a good reason to go on living because we're grateful for that precious gift of life. We're grateful for the wonderful people that you have brought into our lives. Our families, our friends, our neighbors, our community. We thank you because you, Lord Jesus, are the Son of the living God. And by your body and blood, we are nourished, we are healed, we are strengthened, we are loved. And so, who among us we dare to turn our back on him who has given himself in so many ways, who has shed his blood on the cross, who has experienced rejection, betrayal, hatred in all forms. Yes, we suffer, but it is nothing compared to what he endured for us. And so let us use our lives to better ourselves, to better our family, our communities, and let us realize that we need each other. And above all, we need Jesus, who comes to save us from our sins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Lord, you alone can heal me, for I have grieved you by my sins. Lord, you alone can heal me, for I grieved you by my sins. Once more I say, O Lord, have mercy on me. For I have grieved you by my sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, and will be forever.
gather into one body, all who bear the name of Christian, that the world may believe in Christ, whom you have sent. Lord, bless your people. Give our friends and our loved ones a share in divine life. Let them be symbols of Christ before men. Lord, Lord bless your people. Show your love to those who are suffering. Open their eyes to the vision of your revelation. Lord, bless your people. Be compassionate to those who have died. Welcome them to the company of the faithful departed. Lord, bless your people. Draw all our prayers together as we now pray in the words that the Savior promise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The divine praises, 
Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of all time. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of the Mary, Virgin Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, and his angels, and his saints. May the heart of Jesus and the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Confessions will be heard after the sermon. 